Hello, my loves. Welcome to your love reading for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. I hope everyone is safe, happy, healthy, and doing well. Holy Spirit, Angel Spirits and Guides, what clarity and guidance, what love messages do we have here for my Scorpios, please? Clarity, guidance, love messages for my Scorpios, please. Holy Spirit, Angel Spirits and Guides, clarity, guidance, and love messages for my Scorpios, please. So we're going to do a you versus them. So we have the Hanged Man, Piscean Energy. The Chariot, Cancerian Energy. The Five of Wands. The Empress, Aries, Taurus, Libra, Cancerian. The Hermit, Virgo Energy. The Ten of Swords. And the Judgment Card, Sagittarian Energy. So, Scorpio, for whoever is on this side... Wow, someone has been procrastinating when it comes down to making a decision. And what we have here is, you know, top dog mama jamma here, the empress, getting upset. Okay, so we've got one main person, you understand, like wifey hubby type thing, that's getting very upset because someone's not making a decision. Maybe there's a lot of competition here. There's a lot of it, you know, jealousy. Someone here is constantly not being treated like the empress that they are, but being put in competition with people that I feel this empress feels is beneath them. Okay. Because we have someone here withdrawing. We have someone here making a final decision to end a situation here, Scorpio. Okay, so what's happening here is because someone can't choose to commit, there's an energy of if you're not going to wife me down or if you're not going to, you know, uh, uh, accept my proposal of marriage or accept my proposal for more committed energy, I don't need this in my life. Take care. Do you see what I'm saying? Like if someone's like, if you don't want something real, then this is not for me. Hanged man and the page of swords. Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy, the chariot, and the queen of wands. Yes, yeah, someone here is waking up, Cancer. Oh, excuse me, Cancer. Someone here is waking up, Scorpio. I put it on the chariot, Cancerian energy, sorry. Leo, Sag, Aries energy. So someone here is waking up to the fact that there's either, that there's other people in the picture and that they are not the only one here. See, look, the Empress and the Five of Wands. The Empress and the King of Swords, Aquarius, Gemini. Someone here is smartening up. Someone here is starting to wake up and be honest with themselves and say, you know what? I deserve better than this. I'm a freaking Empress. And if you don't treat me like an Empress or an Emperor, I'm done. I'm done. The Hermit and the Knight of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Ten of Swords and the Nine of Wands the judgment card and the six of wands and Scorpio. I feel like someone's going to withdraw their love. I feel like someone's had enough. They're calling it quits. And with the six of wands and the judgment card, it is going to be a very, very victorious decision for this person. Okay. Let's see what we have here. Scorpio, what clarity and guidance spirit? What clarity and guidance do we have here for my Scorpios, please? Sun, moon, rising and Venus signs. Sun, moon, rising, Venus signs, please. For my Scorpios, please, Holy Spirit. So we have the Justice card, Libra energy, and the Seven of Cups, Three of Swords, and the Eight of Swords. So Scorpio, clear as day, this person is getting their karma. They're getting their karma because this person has kept their options wide open, okay? Wide open. This person has put you in third-party situations. This person has broken your heart. This person has caused you to, like, they've, they, uh, we're talking about, like, mental, emotional abuse here, like manipulation. This person has really gotten into your head, you know? We've got the Two of Wands. And the Ace of Pentacles. This person had a choice. This person had a choice as to whether or not they wanted to share a life with you. But, you know, making that decision was too much of a burden for them. Making that decision was too much of a burden for this person. Now, Scorpio, listen, for all I know, this could be you on this side. 
Okay. It could be you that just doesn't want to commit right now. Okay. Listen, no judgment. You know, uh, not all of us are always ready to commit. You know, maybe you just want to keep that single life happening. Okay. But it's causing a lot of pain to this person. It's causing a lot of pain to this person right here. And, um, if you want my opinion, someone here feels like they're being pressured into a relationship or into a commitment. Do you see what I'm saying? Which you don't want that type of energy anyway. You know, Scorpio, you don't want to force someone to love you. You deserve better than that. No one should be forced. We've got the, the Justice card and the Sun card, the Seven of Cups and the Five of Wands. This person knows it. This person knows that they're getting what they deserve by you walking away. Three of Swords and the Strength card, Leo Energy. Eight of Swords and the Nine of Swords. They know that they should have held back, that they should not be messing around with third parties, that they shouldn't be torturing your life and, you know, getting in your head, keeping it. They know that they hurt you. Do you see what I'm saying? Five of Cups under the deck. They have regret, they have guilt, but still making that decision is difficult for them. The Magician and the Two of Wands, Ace of Pentacles, and the Unknown card. So what happens is, is this person deflects Scorpio. They like to deflect. So when it comes down to them making a decision, um, they become manipulative. They kind of work. They, they bob and weave when you're trying to have a conversation with them. Do you understand? Because they don't know what the hell they want. They don't know what they want to choose. Ten of Wands and the Nine of Pentacles. I feel like it, relationships are just too hard for this person. They want to be single. And with that Knight of Pentacles energy, it, it, you need to date this person for a long time before they decide to commit to you. Not get married. I'm talking about like boyfriend, girlfriend. <laughs> I'm talking like, you know, not sleeping with you and everybody else. You understand what I'm saying? What is the challenge here? So we've got the Eight of Wands. And we have the Four of Pentacles. And the Strength card. The challenge here is that this person cannot control their lust. Eight of Wands is communication, it's travel, it's passion, it's lust. And the Strength card in the Four of Pentacles is holding back, withholding from that, right? They can't, that's the challenge. This person doesn't know how to see something that they want and not go ahead and grab that. They don't know how to do that. If they see something, you know, shiny, they got to go touch it. The outcome. Ten of Pentacles. Temperance. Sagittarian energy. And the moon. Cancer Piscean energy. The outcome here, I feel, is that somebody here wants to make peace in this situation. They want forgiveness in this situation. But what they're not telling you is that this may be due to financial reasons, not because of love. You may share finances with this person. So this person is going to want to make peace with you. This person is going to want to settle things with you. But I feel like it's more due to finances than anything else. They're not going to tell you that, but this person is very intelligent. They're very strategic. They're not coming back to you with um, an energy of, I love you too much to lose you. It's an energy of, man, where am I going to go live? You see what I'm saying? Like, what, where, where am I going? So we've got peace and creative endeavor. Um, I feel like you just want peace in your life. You just want to move on. You want to build a life with somebody. You want to, yeah, you want love. You want love in your life, okay? If anything, you want to have someone in your life that teaches you what love, real love is. Do you understand what I'm saying? And I don't know if you're going to find it here. Man holding a heart, angel of love, and the thinking woman. So, you know, this person is coming in saying that they love you, Scorpio. They're coming in saying that they want to balance out those scales, that they want forgiveness. But you're kind of in your head here with that thinking woman energy. You know, you're just kind of looking at this person. Really? Are you really here? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's like this person is presenting themselves as like, you know, I, I want to balance out the scales. I want forgiveness, all this good stuff. But I don't know if you're really buying it. We've got separation. Time apart from your partner is on the horizon and true love. This is the romance of a lifetime. And let your friends help you ask for, uh, ask for and accept support from others. So I feel like you're separating yourself from this Scorpio because you just want to find true love in your life. You want someone that really loves you. Do you see what 
what I'm saying? You're not looking for someone that's just out to use you. And I feel like your friends and your family are going to be um, really big with some, you know, how they're, they're going to be there for you to lean on during this time of transition. Okay. All right, guys, I love you and take care. Bye.